So it's a lovely, my voice is gone again. I haven't been talking today and it's just been working on uni. But it's a beautiful sunny afternoon, it's Sunday Arvo. About 5.30, my wife said, take Sam for another walk, which happy to do. But I've brought him somewhere completely different. I've never been here before. Seems like it's a set of fire trails. Wide enough for cars to drive down. But there's a lot of different ones forking off in different directions, so. A lot of new smells here. You can hear the highway. So I just took a bit of a drive to get here. And it's kind of lucky that it's um, still daylight savings because the the sun's going to still be up for quite a while. So we can come and enjoy this now. The light's still fairly glaring. <laughs> but it's, um, it's nowhere near as hot as it was earlier in the day. I think we just spooked a kangaroo because it was just in there. And I think because we stopped it got a bit freaked out and it just bounded off into the bush. It amazes me how they um they can take off through that at high pace when there's like no paths through there, there's no trails. And they just bounce through it like crazy. He's been enjoying all the new smells. Some of them will probably be those kangaroos. Or wallabies. One of the two. I haven't seen one of these things, these grassy trees, in years. I don't know if it's the official name, but I called them kangaroo tail as a kid. And they, um, it's like a grass tree with this big, this is the flowering section. I used to see them all over the place where I grew up. So I just finished with year 10. His student stool, he started preparing to paint it and you can kind of see a little bit of color, but he's decided just to go for a plain finish now. The other student who's one was right down the front, he's done his upholstery, he just bought in a, a plain black t-shirt. Those ones still need. The bowl that was here, I'll post up the photos that I got of it. He ended up just turning it into a flatter, lower type of platter, he still liked it. Bit of a bit of a design change, I think, and the girl who's the bowl, she's preparing for doing a mallet today. She got the tough stuff set out, drill a hole in the center of the head, ready to do the mallet head. Next lesson, which I think it's tomorrow, I'm not sure. I just picked all these little buggers off my wife's citrus trees. 
crust they were doing this. Tall of the leaves. It's basically eating all the greenery away from in between the veins of the leaves. in particular is one of the days where I've organised for a white card course to be run for my construction class and it's open to any other student who wants to get their white card. This course I think is made up of more kids around the school than in my white card course and it's a full group and the other, the second car course has already started filling. So they are pretty popular, a lot of the kids in our area like for those who don't know, the white card is essentially the induction into the construction industry course. And once you have completed the course successfully and you have your white card, you're allowed to go on to construction sites across Australia. Now it's a national accreditation. Anybody who needs to go onto a construction site needs to have a white card. I originally organized two courses because they can only take a maximum of 20 in the course legally even when I'm running it maximum of 20 and I had 28 in the list so I had to create two courses some of those students in that list didn't return back to school or got jobs or went to a different school like because they were seniors I'm now left with 21 and within that 21 there's a couple that already have their white card because they did the course last year when they were in year 10. So I really only needed one course in the end, but having the two is better, especially because I put the kids into the course as a first in first served basis with notes and payment, that sort of stuff. Mainly notes. Our school heavily subsidizes the kids going into this course and um, it costs $100 a kid with this particular company. And they're really good, I've had them come and do it, run the course for a few years. It's a full day course, starts 8.15, ends 3.15. I need to meet the trainer in the office at 7.30 and because I'm at least an hour to drive from school, I'm leaving early. As an aside, when I run the course, I run it over two consecutive days, which is one of the rules that they made for our RTO because with all the paperwork that you have to do at the start and finish, which aren't technically part of the teaching time of the course, the teaching or assessing time, it's difficult to physically fit the whole course in within a school day. With the um, external provider, we prepare some of the stuff at the start, like the identity requirements are dealt with by us, and then they can submit all their paperwork in the end after the fact. Definitely not used to being here this early. The only other people here are the cleaners. Actually there could be more because I only saw the back car park. There could be people in the front car park and in the other buildings so who knows but definitely a bit different vibe and feel in the school this early. Carnival day. Just loaded up the back of the truck with a whole stack of crates of water, eskies, drink supplies, that sort of stuff. So my faculty will do the catering for staff and whatnot. And I'm just heading heading down to the pool to finish getting set up for the day. There has to be an accident or something up the top of the hill. 
traffic has been really stupid crazy all around Western Sydney this hour. Everything's just going slow. There's traffic holdups everywhere. And now the freeway is doing this. Fun way to start the weekend. Spent the day digging out the footing for the extra feet for the um, carport. Got to see the deep hole, which is going to be where the actual post is, so that needs to be. I'm actually going bigger than what the plan says and down deep. I did hit that sandstone because that turns out to be a massive shelf at the edge of that. But that'll give me something to actually, I can drill into it, put the Rio in and that can help to anchor the slab. I'm still digging this part here. I'm still digging down, but it's just getting tiring. Kind of blocking things off, making the path still better. Using some of the soil to fill in the uneven sections of the ground in front of the house. 